Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel where I make videos on homemaking, femininity and simple living. So if you're interested in any of those topics then please do subscribe below so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. So today I wanted to film a charity shop haul. So in America you call it thrifting, um, so it's sort of a thrifting slash charity shop haul. The reason I wanted to make this video is because I found some amazing things in charity shops this year and it's really when I've started getting into buying my clothes secondhand so most of the time recently in fact all the time recently the only places I have shopped have been in charity shops and through doing that I've found that it is entirely possible to get your entire wardrobe through a charity shop but not only that but to look stylish as well this came after I watched a documentary about fast fashion and about the impacts that it has all over the world and in countries less fortunate than the one that I'm living in and how basically workers just aren't protected and it just makes me feel sick to think that I could buy a dress and someone out there has made it for me and they're just not living the best life because of it. So I don't sort of wanna buy into that system and make it worse. So most of the time now I'm gonna try and get everything secondhand. I'm also getting a sewing machine for Christmas, which I'm really, really excited about. So hopefully I'm gonna be able to repair things and just look after my clothes and stop getting rid of things and buying new things all the time and just live a much more sustainable way and approach to fashion. So today I wanted to show you some of the bits I found. So these things were actually found in just two separate shopping trips to charity shops. So pretty much every time I've gone, I've found at least one thing and I've been really lucky. Also, everything I'm gonna show you is under 10 pounds. I can't remember the exact price of everything. If I can remember, I will say it, but just know that everything I'm showing here is under 10 pounds. Not only that, but it's going for a good cause and it's not going into a system that hurts so many people across the world. So most of the stuff I'm gonna show you is fashion based, but I just wanna show you a couple of homey bits as well that I found, just so you know the sort of things that you can get from a charity shop if you are looking a lot and if you're lucky. So without talking too much further, I'm just gonna get in and show you what I got. So the first thing I got is this dress, and this was originally from New Look, and it is absolutely beautiful on it's so flattering so i've learned now that i like to have anything that has a tie in the waist i find that's most flattering for my figure but also it's it's most comfortable and i'm someone who likes to be comfortable especially around this time of year so i'm never going to wear a dress that's a skimpy tight constantly because i want to be able to eat my mince pies and them not show <laughs> so this type of dress is perfect for that it's also perfect between seasons as well so with these dresses I like to put a vest top underneath you can wear a cardigan with them you can wear them with thick woolly tights and boots and that's perfect for winter or you could just wear it alone um, with nothing on your legs and it's going to keep you cool enough in the summer as well so it's perfect for all seasons which is great in the UK as well because we do have seasons um, I know some places just stay hot all year round but that is the first thing I got the next thing I got is this red dress that I'm actually going to wear on Christmas Day. So it's sort of like an A-line design and it's got this beautiful scallop detail. It is one of the most comfortable but also structured dresses that I've ever come across. I don't tend to like structured dresses which is difficult for me because one of my fashion inspirations is Kate Middleton but I find her style is just a little bit too polished <laughs> for my everyday life it doesn't suit my lifestyle but this is a dress that I feel like is kind of inspired by Kate she probably wouldn't wear it because it's probably not done up enough um but I'm gonna wear this on Christmas day and this actually had the original tag still on, so it's from Oasis, and the original tag said it was worth £45. I actually got it for £9, so I was thrilled with that. It's in perfect condition, and really, you just can't go wrong. 
The other point I wanted to make as well that in charity shops in the UK you are allowed to return as well so if you do buy something that doesn't fit right or it's not quite what you're expecting you can bring it back as well and swap it for something else so it's not just a risk buying things you can actually take it back just as you would to any other shop. The next dress I got is this one that's got this sort of ditzy floral print that I just love and it's so retro to me. Again it's got a tie around the waist and just these really really nice sleeves that sort of are nice and big and floaty. Also the fabric is super super soft, it's sort of like cotton um, so this again is a perfect winter dress that I can wear with a vest top underneath, tights and a cardigan and I'm absolutely great with it. This also looks really Really nice as well with a cropped jumper that I've got and that's something I want to look out more for more dresses like this that you can wear with a cropped jumper in winter. And then the final dress I got is this one. So this is the perfect autumn print. So it's this sort of burgundy colour with some sort of blue um, floral pattern designs. So this was originally from Next and I'm pretty sure I got this for £7. Again, it's really flattering. It comes in at the waist and then it goes out at the bottom and it's just really comfortable. I'm finding now that I find dresses and tights so much more comfortable than wearing leggings. So I know I'm wearing leggings and a jumper today because I think I said on my Instagram I've gone into full Christmas hibernation mode but generally for the day to day wearing a dress and tights in winter for me is just such a go to. It's comfortable, you can eat without feeling like anything's pressing on your stomach and they're really functional as well. So unless I'm going out for a winter walk or something you will most of the time see me in dresses and tights over Christmas. So the next things I want to show are two bags that I found recently and one of these bags is my favourite ever all time purchase from a charity shop. I just could not believe my luck. So it is this bag which is a Katie Loxton bag. It is in absolute perfect condition. There is not a mark on it, not a pull on it anywhere and this is actually still for sale online for £60 and I got it for £5. <laughs> I can't believe it and it has this gorgeous bamboo sort of handle and it's just a really lovely bag. I feel like this is going to stay with me for years and years and years if not forever if it lasts. It's just the perfect size and it's just perfect bag. I'm so so pleased with it. And then the second bag I got is this pink one. Again, it's just gorgeous, perfect size. I love this bow. It reminds me a little bit of Ted Baker and I only got this for £5. Again, it's in perfect condition. Got loads of different, it's got a long strap and then it's got loads of different sections in it which I love in a bag has to have sections <laughs> so the only thing I would say when you're shopping for bags in charity shops is just give it a thorough inspection even if it's something simple like a tag sticking out most things you can prepare repair yourself or clean yourself if it's just a simple little thing so don't let little things put you off because I always clean everything when I bring it home and then when I get my sewing machine as well I can repair little things, I can bring up the hemline, different things like that to make all the clothes suit me down to the ground. So now I just wanted to show some more sort of relaxed clothes. So like I mentioned, if I'm not in a dress and tights, then I do like leggings and a jumper or leggings and a top if it's a bit cooler. But also these are great pyjama tops as well. So the first one is this pink. I've actually put it on the hanger really, really dodgy. But it's this pink top with white polka dots and I love wearing this to bed. It's really comfortable but even just on a day of chilling at home it's perfect with leggings and this was £1 so I mean how can you say no? <laughs> The next one is another pink top that actually needs a bit of an iron now um, but it's this lovely sort of oversized pink top and it's got these little diamonds on as well. I'll get closer so you can see. It's just got little diamonds all over it and again it's just how can you say now I think this was about £3 um, and I've worn this so many times as well. I've even worn this for bed as well and the diamonds don't irritate me because I'm a very fussy sleeper. <laughs> and anything irritates me but they are actually fine and I love sort of over top, oversized tops like this for bed so again how could you say no I feel like that's going to be the phrase of this video how could you say no because everything is cheap affordable 
it's second hand so it's not come well it has originally probably come from fast fashion but it's not putting money into the system and then also it's going to a good cause as well so I just feel like I recommend charity shops to everyone and then the final top I wanted to show you actually isn't on a hanger because I wore it yesterday for a workout which probably is quite gross <laughs> but um it's this sort of cropped lilac top and I just love wearing this with workout leggings it's a really really lovely colour I love any sort of blues like the one I'm wearing or lilacs like this I feel like it brings out blue eyes and this was one pound again so steal <laughs> And then finally, the last things I wanted to show you are some little bits around the house. So the first thing is this glass cake stand. I mean, seriously, you would pay a lot of money for this in the shop. It is so intricate. I don't know if it's real crystal. I don't really care, to be honest. I just absolutely love it. Um, I think I got this for £5 in a charity shop and it is just absolutely gorgeous. I actually keep this out all the time on my Welsh dresser because how can you hide something as beautiful as this away? This is an example as well of going to a charity shop and finding something that you've wanted for ages but maybe you normally wouldn't put your money into. So I've wanted a glass cake stand for so long but I've just never justified getting one because they are quite expensive in the likes of... Murphy, will you stop growling? <laughs> They are quite expensive in the likes of HomeSense and TK Maxx and things like that. So I've just never justified getting it until I see the perfect one for £5 in a charity shop. And then you can't keep me away from it. <laughs> So staying on the glass theme, I also found this gorgeous ballet dancer. Oh, I feel like she's so pretty and elegant. I actually keep her on my windowsill and she hits the light perfectly. And in summer, there's like a little rainbow colours all on the wall from where the light has hit it. And I feel like it's one of those things that looks really expensive. And again, you would never treat yourself to something like this in the shop because it would be so expensive, bought brand new, but from a charity shop. Again, you can't say no. <laughs> I feel like I'm saying all the same things again and again. And then the final thing I wanted to show are these little bowls. So I'll just show you one of them. They came in a set of six and they are just the most gorgeous pattern. So they've got this sort of floral design with a scalloped edge. What does it say on the back? I don't really know what it says on the back. <laughs> I don't really understand things and what it means and if it's China or I don't know I don't care I kind of just buy things for the way they look um, and I use these all the time for little desserts and any little snacks I want and also they would be perfect for having friends and family over for someone's birthday and putting some birthday cake in there just whatever you want them for they are gorgeous and for the pack of six I remember this it was four pound Okay, so they are everything that I wanted to show you today. I do have more things that I've bought from charity shops over the past couple of months. So if you want to see another one of these, then I will maybe do them regularly because I think I would probably have enough to show perhaps every four months on my channel because I go to charity shops I'd say maybe once every three weeks um or maybe sometimes more maybe sometimes less depending on how busy I am but I think it's when you regularly go to charity shops so you might just pick up one thing here or there but then it adds up to having pretty much a brand new wardrobe I mean those dresses that I bought I've been wearing them on repeat and pretty much my whole wardrobe before that has become redundant because they're the ones I just gravitate to every single day so if you do want to see another one of these hauls then do let me know in the comments below because I would love to keep doing these not only because I love showing them I love fashion and I'm a girly girl at heart so I love shopping but also because it shows people that you really can get great things in charity shops and I want to remove that stigma that it's just for people who can't afford things brand new or I've heard people say that charity shops have a weird smell things like that that just come across as a little bit snobbish and I really do think that if more people shopped secondhand then a lot of issues would be solved so I want to show how doable it is and how you can still remain stylish by doing so. So if you have enjoyed this video then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video.